You don't happen to have a backup career, do you? No, I'm not good at anything. I'm barely good at this! Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, it's a little ridiculous. Good boy. Play all the hits! Let's Toronto Maple Leafs. Let me finish! How am I supposed to go to bed after watching that? I'm quite hyped. With you wherever you are, welcome to LFR. When the Leafs blow a 3-1 to one lead, but win 6-5. to five. <laughs> They won. V uh, vi vict victory. Puppies. Did you get a haircut? It's my thumb. Leafs win! 6-5 <laughs> over the St. It was the St. Louis Blues, was it? All right, no, no. We're gonna do this as fast as possible. We're gonna do this as fast as possible so you know what it's like to go through my mind. Because Leak is just nonsense. It's nonsense what they do to me. What they do to us. We fans are a little extra. <laughs> That's like, oh, deers are so jumpy. Yeah, they're eaten by everything. Rob, have fun captioning this, by the way. It should be fun. All righty, you ready? You ready? All right, go. First and foremost, Leafs had three guys going into protocol. Andre Kasha, Nick Ritchie, and Justin Hall. But Mitch Marta comes back into the lineup and so does Pierre Engvall. Marta slots into where Kasha was, first line right wing. Engvall where Ritchie was, I think, third line right wing. No, Ritchie was fourth. Doesn't matter. Timothy Lilligren back into the lineup next to Jake Muzzin and Sandy and Dermot make up the third pair. Jack Campbell and Ed, we like him. So the Leafs, oh, adversity. Except, eh, the St. Louis Blues are missing a bunch of people. And the people they do have like to punch you in the head. And they did. At the beginning of the game, nothing happened until it did. Less than four minutes in, bad shift for Austin Matthews of all people. Turns the puck over at the offensive blue line. Ryan O'Reilly brings it in, walks him like a dog, gives it to Barbashev, drives to the net, scores. Oof, that's a bad start. Hopefully it gets better. Less than two minutes later. Did you blink? Why? Austin Matthews off the face off right to Michael Bunting and he scored. Now it's tied. That's better. Less than two minutes after that, St. Louis Blues cough it up in their own end. Hilarious. Mitch Marner says, I'm back now. He shoots and it wasn't on the power play, so he scored. That's mean, but true. Less than two minutes after that, Alexander Kerfoot passes the puck to John Tavares. That's exactly what I would have done. He shoots and scores. The Leafs have a 3 1 lead. Now, let me explain something about hockey that's generally a good position to be in. Less than half a period into this game, the Leafs are up 3 1. They have three goals on eight shots in Jordan Bennington, and there was a stat on the broadcast Bennington has allowed seven of the last 19 shots he has faced from the Leafs go in. Let me explain something to you about hockey that's bad. And the Leafs head into first intermission with a good thing that's a 3 1 lead, and that's a great thing until it's not. Ryan O'Reilly scores three minutes and 58 seconds into the first period, and in the second period, he decides, I'm gonna beat that, and he scores three minutes and 40 seconds in. Leafs try to clear the zone. Doesn't go so well. Jake Muzzin gets crunched behind the net. Puck comes to me. Mikula. He shoots it off the end boards and Ryan O'Reilly scores! Mikula assists on Ryan O'Reilly's goal. Who's Mikula? He's the guy who assists on Ryan O'Reilly's goal. Pay attention! Less than two minutes after that? Why is it always less than two minutes? Does this look like good news to you? It wasn't! Brandon Sun scores and the Blues tied up barely over five minutes into the second. Just under three minutes later, Timothy Lilligren. Ah! Lilligren scores his first NHL goal and Jason Spencer goes to the Blues net and gets the puck and he says, Timothy, you gotta take a vaguely concerning picture with this puck later. And Tim says, okay. But unfortunately, Lilligren's side was not done. You ever play Super Mario? Very fun game. Nintendo, guy's a plumber! In that game where Mario gets a star, he turns Invincible, and then a song plays. You want to hear it? Okay, that's basically what the St. Louis Blues did to Lilligren. Grab him, throw him down to the ice, it's not a problem. After that, Kyra sets up Rob Thomas for an amazing goal because you can do anything when anything is allowed. So the game is tied 4 4 at the end of the second. Do you need a quick recap? I feel like you do. The fans were sad, then happy, then happier, then even happier, and then impending doom, and more impending doom, and then happy again, and then impending doom, and rage. Do you love another period of hockey to play? Are you ready? Too bad. Remember when I said Ryan O'Reilly scored three minutes and 58 seconds into the first, and then three minutes and 40 seconds into the second? Nico Mikola beats that. Record three minutes and 25 seconds in. Kairou passes Nico Mikola in front, and the reason Nico Mikola goes to the front is because the chiefest real estate in Toronto is in front of the Leafs net. He bats it in. I don't know if they have Lego in Finland, but I hope Nico Mikola steps on all of them, and the Blues have the 5 4 lead. Then something amazing happens. 10 minutes and 30 seconds into the second period, Clem Costin takes a holding penalty on Alexander Kerfoot. Do you know how bad you have to hold someone in the third period of a game that went the way this game did to get a penalty? Was he holding a knife? Video evidence says no, but we can't be sure. Did Mitch Marner score on that power play? No. Even better, the Leafs scored. Marner to Matthews, Matthews scores. How's your heart? Is it inside a dead person? Not yet. Let's keep going. Only three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the game. Ilya Mikheyev throws a weird wrist shot on a weird angle at Jordan Bennington. Goalie whose favorite hobby is almost getting into a fight, which is appropriate because he almost stopped his puck. It goes in for some reason. Pierre Engvall is the only person in the building who sees it. Why do you think? I bet it's the long neck. But the Leafs have the 6-5 lead, which means you can relax. Heck no, the Blues pull their goalie. Leafs hold him off. There's less than 10 seconds to go, which means you can relax. Heck no, six seconds to go in the game. The Leafs pass the fence, but throws the puck over the glass. That means it's a six on four offensive zone draw for Ryan O'Reilly against. It's a guy who you didn't know existed until the Leafs signed him. But he wins, and the puck is behind the Leafs' end. The Leafs are working to win the game, and so are the Blues. They're working to win the game, too. And you can't believe how long six seconds is isn't over. Oh, my God. Final horn goes. And they win. All right. Class, do you have any uh, questions on the material? Hmm. Uh. Ah.
uh, this is why I tweet, like, imagine a moment's peace. Imagine a, imagine a moment's peace. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle. I'm Steve Dangle. Why did I have to be Steve Dangle? I'm Steve Dangle on the Sports Day YouTube channel. Every Saturday. Last weekend, the Leafs blew a 4-1 lead to the Colorado Avalanche and lost on stream. It was the second time that season that the Leafs had blown a 4-1 lead on stream. Today, they blow a 3-1 lead and uh, take the lead and then lose it and then lose, uh, the Blues went up and then the Leafs tied it again and McKay have had the worst game winner in human history. And um, uh, the Leafs won. That's, I cheer for that. That's good. Hmm? That's, right? We're all happy about that. That's good stuff, man. What game is it? Oh my God, we're not even halfway. Oh my God. Oh my God. And, oh, if they were to ever win the cup, like, oh, that would take so long. That would... Oh, one round of playoff hockey feels so long. And four would be so much longer. And it'll be agony and torture and my heart is gonna come out of my chest and like into my throat and then back into my chest and down, down by my, it's gonna become my third kidney and it's also the thing I want the most in the world ever is for them to like, imagine the second round. I bet it's awesome. I bet, I bet there's palm trees and and infinite chicken wings. You just take them out of, you know those metal things at weddings? And you're like, this is too hot. Like, why are we all, like we're all just gonna burn ourselves, but that's how bad we want food at this family event. Unless you're at one of those weddings where they, they have actually like people standing there who are wearing gloves and you're like, honey, I don't think we put enough in the envelope. Hmm. All right. Um, mm -hmm. So the good things that happened in this game, um, well, they battled, you know, man, like not everything in life is easy. That's what I learned tonight. And you, you know, it's hard sometimes and you're sad and, but then you work hard and you win and then you're happy. You feel better. What else? Uh, Mikheyev scored again. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it's great that he helped them win the game. It's just funny. And it happened against Jordan Bennington and like, it's funny because he gets mad and if you judge me for taking pleasure in watching someone when they're mad i'm gonna remind you whose friggin channel you're watching uh what else oh uh, little grin had a uh, terrible game a terrible man look at this dude's face this is his first goal look at look at that look at that face me too bro me too i get it i'm not even here to lambaste you you're this whatever face this is he's right you're at you know, 110% Tim, but like he did it, you know, right? He did it. He did it. They they won and he scored one of the goals in the game they won. That's good. It's great. Marner didn't score a power play goal again, which is mean. That one's mean. It's out of date. It's an out of date chirp. It doesn't matter. How could it be out of date when it's just a factual stat? It's, it's a factual stat. The Marner's gone like a thousand games without scoring a power play goal, but it's also mean because you're willfully ignoring the fact that the Leafs power play is one of the best in the league and he's part of that, you know? Like this, I was on board last year when it was bad, super bad, not the movie, it was awful and he didn't score. But he passed it to Austin Matthews for the game tying goal in the third period on the power play. Did you see his celebration? Passing's his favorite thing. He'd so much, go back and look. He scored a goal in this game and he got an assist. Go look at which one he was happier for. It was the assist. It's his favorite thing. Why do you criticize Mitch Marner for doing his favorite thing? We should all be doing our favorite thing right now. The next time you're in the middle of doing something that you don't enjoy doing, you should go, 
I'm gonna stop this right now and go and do my favorite thing. You're at your job and you're not enjoying it. You just leave, you just walk out. And your boss goes, where the hell are you going? And you don't even break stride. You go, if my raise does not match inflation, then it is a pay cut. Wait, did you get that from Reddit? Yes, I did, but also a screaming man on YouTube. Where did he get it? Probably Reddit. I'm almost at the door. I'm too committed, I'm going. And then you, um, get ice cream or something. It's too cold. It's, but I kind of like ice cream on a cold day. I don't know what your favorite thing is. I, I don't know if we've met. Um, uh, you're probably great, but you should go do your favorite thing. We should all do it, including Mitch Marner, which is passing the puck to Austin Matthews and ma making him get a goal, right? There was also some debate about the officiating in this game, uh, and it was bad. It was clearly bad. And the argument against it is, well, the Leafs got more power plays than the Blues did, and like the Mitch Marner power play goal argument, it is factually true and also wrong. If I punch you, 100 times and receive two punching you penalties. But you, meanwhile, punched me once and got a punching me penalty. I would have more punching you penalties than you would. But it, you know, man, like you get it? The Blues took more penalties than the Leafs because they should have and they should have taken even more. Sometimes when I get like this, I, I, I get like clarity. I, I wish I had this for all those series against the Bruins. How can you say the refs don't call any penalties against the Bruins? We're one of those penalized teams in the league. Yeah, that is factually true, but really a lie because you should be an Azkaban. <sighs> okay, I think I, I think I got it all. When's their next game? Monday? No, they postponed Monday. Wednesday. Wednesday! <laughs> Leafs' next game is Wednesday. It's against the Rangers, and they'll uh, both play a hockey game, and it'll be good, and oh my god, there's so, there's so many games left. There's so many games left, and it's the Leafs! Oh my god, they're gonna be the Leafs for all of the games they have left?! That's a nightmare! No way! Uh, uh, quest questions before I go? How difficult is it to go into filming an LFR after a stream? Uh, you know, I talk and, uh, yell for like three hours, and then, um, I do this where I get f far louder, much louder, but for a shorter period of time. I think I gotta start wearing, like, a, a device. Like a gym device. I, I burned... I'm gonna say 156 calories. No, it's probably more. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. It's, I get to sleep in tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Successful road trip? Shut up! You know what's dumb? You know what's so dumb? He's right! Dude, they had a four-game road trip that involved Colorado, Vegas, and St. Louis. Got five out of eight points, and the only game they lost in regulation was against the Coyotes! Steve, why are you so- That's why! None of this is strange! None of it! You're all weird for being calm. Being a Leafs fan is if Don't Look Up happened every year- Oh my god, that's- I said that last video. Did I? I definitely did, right? Since the game ended 6-5, will producer Drew throw in a few references to that other Leafs Blues 6-5 game from 2000? The Avs video was Chef's Kiss. I disagree, Arda, the Avs video was was chef's kiss my bottom. By the way, the game that he is referring to from the year 2000, the Leafs had a 5-0 lead over the St. Louis Blues at home in Toronto. The St. Louis Blues scored six goals, six unanswered goals, five of them in the third period and one in overtime and one. It's one of the first times I remember getting grounded because I woke my parents up with the words that came out of my mouth from two floors below them. And it was on that night that I decided I know what I want to be when I grow up. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Hope you did. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Hope you did. Tell all your friends. Hope you do. Have a, have a great time. The Leafs won and that's happy. I'm good. Hmm? It's great.